In this video, we are going to look at how to read the vernier calipers using the question that came in 2012 uh, physics, paper 2, question 1. All right, so the question reads, figure 1.1 1 .1 below shows part of a vernier caliper used to measure a physical quantity. So this is a vernier caliper. The first question says, what is the reading shown above in the vernier caliper? All right, so what you have to know is that a vernier caliper is made up of two scales. You have this scale, the one that is in centimeters. This scale is called the main scale. So this is the main, the main scale. And then you have this scale here. Sometimes they may swap. The main scale may be down and then the, the, this scale can be up. So, but this scale here, that is down here, is in millimeters and this scale is called the vernier vernier scale so in abbreviation you can say vs and then the main scale abbreviation you can say ms meaning main scale so this instrument the least measurement okay least count the least measurement it can measure is 0 0.1 millimeters. So this vernier caliper, the least measurement it can measure is 0 0.1 millimeters. So that depends with uh, the main scale of the vernier caliper. If the main scale of the vernier caliper is in millimeters, it means you are going to use this one. But if the main scale of the vernier caliper like this one here is in centimeters. It means that the least measurement that this vernier caliper can measure is 0 0.01 centimeters. So because our main scale is in centimeters, it means we are going to use this. With that information, now the question is, how do you read the vernier caliper? All right, so vernier caliper, you are going to say reading is equal to main scale the main scale okay main scale reading plus open bracket the vernier scale reading vernier scale reading times the least count the least count the smallest measurement that this caliper can measure so least count the smallest measurement so please keep this formula in mind it is very useful okay so now let's take the measurements from the main scale so that we replace them there the main scale reading so the main scale is this one so from one number or from one measurement to another there are how many graduations one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so First of all, you need to know what each of the smaller graduation is worth of. So we are going to say 5 minus 4, which is 1. And then 1 divided by the number of graduations, which is 10, you are going to have 0 0.1. So meaning each of these smaller graduation is 0 0.1. So that you have 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9. Then five. All right. So with that in mind, take note of where the vernier scale is. All right. So this vernier scale here, the point at where it's starting here, tells you that you are not supposed to go over this scale. Okay. So our main scale reading will read this mark here, not the one that is after this scale, but you will get this mark here. All right, so if this is 4, it means this will be 3.9, 3.8, then this one is 3.7, okay? So meaning the main scale reading is 3.7, 3.7. So meaning here we're going to replace a 3.7 plus. All right, now you come to the vernier scale reading. For you to take the measurements of the vernier scale reading you need to look for where the measurement of the main scale and the vernier scale are coinciding or 
where they are in line with each other. So you can say you can see that here it's not in line, here it's not in line, but here you can see that this reading of the venial scale is coinciding or is in line with it, the reading of the main scale. So you are going to take this measurement. So these are in millimeters. So what you are going to say, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is 3. Venial scale reading is 3 millimeters. Then times the least count, the smallest measurement that this venia caliper can measure, uh, because the main scale is in centimeters, we are going to use this one here. We are going to use uh, 0 0.01 centimeters. So, 0 0.01. Alright, so 3, here you are going to have 3.7 plus 3 times 0 0.01 is 0 0.01. 03 okay get your calculator because this is physics and calculators are allowed get your calculator and say 3.7 plus 0 0.03 and this gives 3.73 so the reading here is 3.73 centimeters all right if you're with me up to this point it means you're enjoying what i'm doing Please consider to subscribe, like, hit the, hit the like button, comment, and share. The second part says, what physical quantity does the venia caliper measure? So the physical quantity that the venia caliper measures is uh, the distance, okay? It measures distance, or you can say length. But in the exam, you need to mention one of these. Okay, because distance and length are just the same. So you just mention one of these. But B says, state two precautions that must be taken when taking measurements using a micrometer screw gauge. Alright, so the first precaution that you are supposed to take as you want to read the micrometer screw gauge is, so number one, you need to clean the instrument. Clean the micrometer, okay? micrometer screw gauge so you clean the micrometer screw gauge in other words you have to make sure that the micrometer is clean remove all the oils uh, any anything that is not that may interfere with your readings number two you need to make sure that it's zeroed so zero the instrument the instrument zero the micrometer all right by writing this you would have gotten your two mark thank you very much once more for watching if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe hit a like button comment and share and also thank you very much for our returning viewers our returning subscribers uh, please spread the news that there is a channel that teaches physics and maths if you are writing exam this year this is the right channel for you to be See you in the next video where we're going to be looking at how to read the micrometer screw gauge. Goodbye.